Amalia. I'm Raina. And I'm Gabriella. And, and we're Triple Charm. And today, we are back for the fifth annual Christmas Cookie Bake Off. This year, I'm gonna be the judge and Amalia and Gabby are gonna compete head to head to see who can bake the best Christmas cookies. Three hours on the clock and the time starts now. You girls each have one emergency help button. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna help you. Okay, I won't need I it. I know you're gonna need I'm my so help. Good. Wait, before you keep watching, we are performing live this January, so get your tickets now at itstriplecharm.com. Hope to see you there. Okay, let's get on with the video. My cookie is about to be delectable. Right, I Raina, haven't I won every single year that I've competed? No, last year Raina won, so. No. I. She did not win. You I won. won. Choose me. What did I do? I won every single year. Yeah. I'm coming back to defend my title. We're gonna conquer this kitchen and win the competition. I think I'm gonna dominate. Key is to always do something like with chocolate. I have such a good so, Christmas cookie. It's gonna be so cute. The base that I'm gonna be trying to do is like red velvet Christmas mm. looking. And then I'm gonna add like a reindeer. So it's like raw. This year's cookie is double chocolate chip. Is this butter softened? Oh, it is very much softened. Oh, I put this in the fridge. Okay. That should be fine because it needed to be softened. That doesn't make it expire. I'm a little nervous because we only have three hours this year and I have to chill my dough for two hours. So I'm going to be cutting it kind of close. We should start baking then. I've already washed my hands. Oh. Did you wash your hands? I did not wash my hands. You gotta Wait, wash let me. Hands. I'm a changed baker. This year, I'm coming in strong for the first time. I don't have a wooden spoon. I'm blaming it all on the wooden spoon if this doesn't turn out. There's a trash can here. I'm not just scooping it to the floor. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm getting shaky. You guys know I'm a magician, right? So if I snap my fingers, sugar should appear, right? Okay, look at that, a half a cup. Can you come help me? Just put the sugar right on the table. Where's the sugar? Right there. Attention, bakers! I come there and give. This one. I don't know, I'm scared. This is for you. What is this for? What this is, is a mystery ingredient that you have to incorporate in your cookie. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't want to do that. If you want the points and if you want to win this competition, you're going to have to incorporate these ingredients. Look at what mine is. What did you get? I got Fruit cereals. Oh my God. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. I like cinnamon okay, I was... All right, good luck, ladies. Himalayan and sea salt. It doesn't have a specific okay. salt. So I'm a little confused. The cookies are red and this salt is pink. So I'm gonna go with the pink salt. We have red. Boom. A whole chunk of shell just went into Okay. Wait, did I make this up? I think I got powdered sugar for nothing. <laughs> oh! Never mind. It's for the crumble. Let me just be honest, this is the one time a year that I actually am cooking. I get to use an electric hand mixer. So my plan is I'm gonna incorporate this into the flour. Oh my gosh, I made like rainbow dust. I did it. Now I can actually focus on the real ingredients. What's it called when you can do everything on both hands? Ambidextrous. I gotta become ambidextrous. 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 Wait. Ambidextrous. 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 I gotta become ambidextrous. Yeah, now I'm confused. I don't even know what the word is anymore. This is the word. I gotta become this word. I'm gonna freehand the food coloring. So pretty! I'm gonna add a little more food dye. Oh! Now, we actually seen the camera. Always fun. Thank goodness. This food dye is not coming off. This smells so good. Raina never said we can't eat them. How about you eat them all and then forget to put them in your thing? You are such a coffee cat. Raina! beef with Gabriella because she copied my exact method of incorporating no. the cereal. No, Gabby. You can't do that. That can't be allowed. Somebody might get points, dog. What? Okay, just, just I need, what? I need your oh, cooking this. mind. Okay. I added probably an extra. I know what I'll do so that they're different than Emily's. I'll just have them as like little, like chunky, crunchy okay. parts. Yeah. Crunchy, yeah. crunchy bits. That could be good. I okay. used two or three tablespoons of extra dry ingredients. Do you think it's fine? Why don't I add more butter? Add a little more butter. Nobody likes dry cookies. So that it, are you using your emergency help button? Yeah, I guess she I is. guess you could consider that my help she button. She is, and I'm bored, so. We are wanting chunky parts to have more texture. It looks like the mass, the biggest piece of meat. Oh wait, I'm still on it. I was about to visit Gabby on your turn. Girl! Don't mind my messy station, you guys. Please don't judge me. It's like, <laughs> clumping around. <laughs> now it says to 
crazy. And then it says next. So Gabby coming in with all the jokes. Gabby's so I'm like funny. literally so serious over here. I'm too. having a hard time mixing this. What flour? I feel like I'm making it. Pizza. I hear you just like whispering. This Two. doesn't have to go. Yeah. I miss being in the kitchen, clearly. She's like, clearly crawling out. It's my dough. <laughs> don't look, Judge. Please don't look. My emergency yeah. button has been called. I was struggling and she came and saved the day. I'm kind of liking the color. I it's think a it little could light. Be. It smells good. Um, I agree. Either way, good job. Thank you. Back in action. This was actually a terrible idea, but I didn't cover my cookies. I know it won't be disgusting. I just really hope it's not too dry. Here it that is. Out. I compare your texture to mine. Mine's not that different. Feels good. Like it's not oh, too sticky. Good. All the moisture left the freaking cookies. So add water. Okay. Add water to the cookies. Definitely not taking your advice. Why not? We have 20 minutes. Easy. I should probably tell you guys now. There's one more challenge slash task that's gonna be part of the judgment. I don't need right this. Here. I don't need this extra. You have to present your cookie with a 10 to 20 second jingle. I'm gonna start writing. I shall start, start as well. Into the oven they go. This is all just half of like one cookie. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks <laughs> to last year. I mean, they're not bad. Your timer? That must be the timer for the baking challenge. Baking challenge. We need to know. Is no! 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 I didn't think that was the timer. That's the end? No. I need to decorate. Judge needs to make a decision. I need to make a decision quick. No. Oh, yeah. No. The timer went off, and Gabby is behind the time limit. For that, she gets a penalty. <gasps> she can finish her cookies and finish decorating them, but Gabby, you're going to have to do that blindfolded. Oh, my God. Yes! Do the best you can blindfold it, then you have 30 seconds to fix it. What? In tarnation? This is gonna That's be good. good. I got a literal strike. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's the blindfold. Blindfold. Ooh, this is fun. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? It's too late and you didn't okay. do it, but to make your presentation better, I would have picked out just the red and green ones and then like crushed those up. Finally! I feel terrible, actually, so thank you. Also, I don't think my taste is that good, so. Did you try it? Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't you hear her footsteps? Her oh, footsteps right. were so loud. I feel like this one has pretzels. Wait, where's the pretzels? I mean, <laughs> the M&M. &M. I need the M&M. &M. Do you need the pretzels anymore? <laughs> no, it's for the better. I'm checking. A napkin. I need plus. a napkin. Give me a napkin before my blindfold comes off. Why are we doing so much for you? Two, one, go. 30 seconds now with the blindfold. Oh my gosh. Go, Gabby, go. All right, 20 seconds left. That is how you choose to spend your time? That is insane. Five seconds left. Time. <laughs> Good job, Gabby. No, they look so bad. Okay, ladies, it's time to present. I'm going to be judging your cookies based off of taste, audio presentation, your song, visual presentation, and how you incorporated your extra ingredient. Those are your four categories for how you're being judged. We're gonna start with the first one, audio presentation. Are you ladies ready? For the fifth year in a row, baking cookies, making dough, but this time an extra surprise. I had to make my special treat with a little extra sweet. Here's my double chocolate chip cookies with cereal inside. Ooh! Oh, okay! Gabby, you got this? <laughs> Off with Rudolph, there he goes. To give the children a gift to store. Then the chilly breeze rolled thin. Twas Christmas morning when the red nosed reindeer came home. Oh, oh, love it. Now, wait, what does that have to do with your cookie, boy? It's Rudolph! Time for the visual presentation. Bring in the cookies. <sighs> Very, very, very different. My cookies kind of represent uh, expectation versus reality. This is the morning. This is him. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is him. I messed up. Rudolph, basically, during the night, he's 
you know, spick and span, ready to help Santa. And then in the morning, he's all messed up and, you know, just discombobulated. If you are able to really work that story, well, I don't have a creative backstory. My cookie is a double chocolate chip cookie. I incorporated the cereal into the flour. I also sprinkled a little extra on top for a little zhuzh, a little color, if you will. Right. My song, basically, I was just trying to explain what this challenge was or what my cookie is. I didn't have like a crazy backstory about my character. That is a cookie. Okay. Um, because it's not a real person. All right, it's time for the taste test. Let's do Let's do Molly first. There she is. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Okay. Good sign. This is actually good. Go get I'm not going to say what I think yet. Give me a little something in your eye. What's up there? <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> I'm scared to try mine. I didn't really have much. And the one that I did have was kind of gooey, so... Okay. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. I'm going in. <laughs> this could be red velvet. It only had red food coloring. That's the only thing that made it pink. There's no chocolate in it? No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Peace yeah. out. Audio presentation. Both great. Gabby's was more creative and I loved her melody. Molly's was more direct because I knew it was about her cookies. Gabby's song, I wouldn't know it was about her cookies. It just sounded like it could be a wonderful Christmas song. Her visual presentation was obviously not all the best. But considering she was blindfolded majority of the time she was decorating, I would say not too bad. Molia, considering she wasn't blindfolded and they look like that, they're not very festive. She has executed her idea. The idea was just not as great. When it comes to taste, I was so surprised by how good Amalia's were. They were good. I don't know what she was talking about, not thinking they were that good. Me and Gabby were both very impressed. Like, I tasted the Fruit Loops a little bit. I would have liked the Fruit Loop taste to be a little stronger than the cookie. Now, Gabby's taste, the texture was a little bit weird. It's almost like they were overcooked and undercooked at the same time. It was a little bit more adventurous and bold. After Deliberation. You went ham on my hand on mine. Oh, wait, did you? <laughs> I, I did not touch it. <laughs> you went crazy. <laughs> I was so Honestly, I thought I made my decision, but now I'm like, what? You guys. Wait, I'm gonna choke. <laughs> I'm shaking. I have to try this one. <laughs> Your face. Oh, uh, Molly's winning right now. <laughs> Oops. Wait, <laughs> stop. We need to go back and discuss what you said. The winner of the fifth. Annual Christmas cookie bake off is <laughs> Let me say it. Amalia! <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that just sealed the deal at the end. I must have had a bad piece. <laughs> Gabby, I literally would have done anything to make you the winner, but I didn't feel like it was fair. No, I genuinely if she won, that, that come on. I I it's not fair that I had to be blindfolded while yes. decorating. Gabby, yeah, it's not the decoration. My whole presentation. <laughs> no, because Amalia has done chocolate every yeah, year. Yeah, next year, year she's not allowed to do chocolate. Congratulations, I had no Gabby. Idea. I'm so proud. Wait, of why did you say congratulations to me? Because you did amazing. We'll be at 45 doing this challenge, and I will still have my streak. No, Y'all, we have to break the streak. Cheers to me. I thought this was Maybe definitely gonna be my year. Blindfold. I'm honestly on I'm Gabby's honestly, side. Yeah. I'm on her team. I literally thought I, I did not want Amalia to eat. win again. You did they were actually good. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. The attempt. first year we did this, Gabby didn't know like what baby said it was. She's yeah, had I've grown over the years. All right, everyone. That's it for this year's Christmas cookie bake-off. We hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next year. Happy holidays. holidays.